Hi, I'm Barton Siever, chef and National Geographic fellow, and this is CookWise. In winemaking, the concept of terroir, of how the earth, the soil, the air, and the sunshine add to the quality characteristics of each individual wine is very important. We're here in the Iron Horse Vineyards discussing the idea of meroir, of how the oceans impact grape growing and wine. One of the unique qualities of Iron Horse in our particular growing area, Green Valley, is the fog. We're defined by the fog and the proximity to the ocean, the coolness. Being 13 miles as the crow flies to the Pacific is directly related to both the flavor and the quality of our wines. These vines look incredibly healthy. I never understood until I really started studying wine is that all grapes start out green like this and and all the juice in grapes is all white. It's only from the skins that you get the color obviously for red wines and the flavor for red wines. So if I were to eat one of these right now, may I? Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It's really, really, yeah, really I'll take tart. your advice on it's that. It's the then. worst lemon you've ever been into. <laughs> <laughs> now that is the range of mountains that separates us from Napa Valley. This is the most sought after land right now in California for Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. It's a combination of the marine influence, that fog coming in, that fog leaving. Very cold nights, warm, not hot days. Uh, you want that fog, especially during harvest, because what that does is it lengthens those nighttime temperatures into the day. And then of course, this once used to be an old inland sea, so our soils in this area are very sea-like. It's a sandy, sandy loam soil. Very little water holding capacity, very low vigor. It's a perfect thing that you want for a grapevine, especially grapevines like Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So what do we have in front of us here? That's mm -hmm. where our sparkling wines go in those tirage bins to bottle ferment. Okay. So when you walk in that building down there, it's like the final scene in the first Indiana Jones movie. All you see is these wooden bins and you kind of go, where's the ark? There's treasure in here. There's I treasure know. in here. Actually, there is treasure in there. <laughs> we have about 120 pounds per square inch of pressure. This is cool. Yes. I was waiting for broken glass and I know. fireworks and... <laughs> So are you ready to start the tasting? Yeah, let's do it. Each one of these bottles is actually the same wine, but with one last little difference. Each one of these wines has a slightly different dosage added to it. It's a special syrup that we make here, and we make several of them, and so we have various amounts of those syrups in each one of these bottles. To me, food and wine are completely inseparable. Mm -hmm. The purpose of each other is to balance, balance them out. T just tasting through this, I'm, I'm getting almost a hint of cinnamon on this, which I, I love, like a, a nice autumnal mussel dish with uh, stewed tomatoes with a little bit of cinnamon and garlic in there and the mussels thrown in and some white wine. That is phase two of this that I'm Oh, I'm already working on. I mean, this I is, as soon as this is done, the, the recipes are to follow. My favorite, and I think what represents the ocean best and, and what pairs best with seafood, I think maybe something in the middle. Between three and four, a blend of these two would be, would be really killer. There is so much going on in this glass. There is history, geography, geology, chemistry, art. The impact of the ocean. Man, this is super cool. So honored to propose the first toast with the brand newly created Ocean Reserve. This is truly an honor. Cheers. 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 To the oceans. To the, the oceans. Ocean. To the oceans. Yeah. The ocean. For recipes, tips, techniques, links, <laughs> seafood stories, and more, visit ocean.nationalgeographic.com forward slash cookwise. For more about the Ocean Reserve Cuvée and to find out what you can do to help protect the ocean, visit IamTheOcean.org. And remember, delicious is the new environmentalism, so cook wise.